Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn to test the MCP servers using the Postman. So let's dig in. Nowadays, we are hearing so much around the MCP servers. So MCP is basically a model context protocol and MCP provides a standardized way to connect the AI models to a different data sources and tools. So AI models, you might be using the chat, JVD, Cloud, DeepSeek. So basically, you want them to connect with the external data sources and the tools. And this can be done using the MCP basically. So if you look into the architecture, so especially the client server architecture, you have a host where you can use the IDs, tools, or cloud desktop. And you can basically, you know, connect to the MCP server using MCP protocol and the data sources. Now, as it's growing and there's so many servers available, we need to test them as a server tester. Now, if I go to this MCP service website, so basically mcp.so, and it has a collection of different MCP servers here, right? So, for example, if I go here and search for Selenium, so you will find Selenium server. You might have heard about the Playwright server, right? So, there's so much available, and we need to test those. For example, you are working with Jira, search for a Jira. So, you, you might find a Jira MCP server available as well. So you see that Jira service manager, Jira MCP server. So there are so many available, and even you can go and create the MCP server. So it has all the instructions, the tutorials, and examples. Even you can create your MCP server. Now, if you go here, just like you see here on this particular website, there are so many servers available, right? And just for, for this particular tutorial, I will be using the senior MCP server by Andy Jones. And here, basically, if you scroll down and go to the features, then here we have this configuration file. So, basically, using this one, we can connect to the senior MCP server and test this one. Now, if you go and scroll down here, so in the tools, we have start browser. So the star browser has these parameters. So what we can do is that we'll, once we connect the MCP server through the postman, we need to test these tools. Now again, the tools needs to be uh, developed based on some requirement. Just like any other requirement for the mobile app or the web app, based on the requirement, we create the test cases and test uh, that one. Similarly here, we have tools. This is basically the requirement. And based on this one, so right now this this particular tool, which will actually start the browser session, is a required one. So your requirement is that this particular start browser should be mandatory. Now you need to verify that it's mandatory or not, right? It, it should take two browsers like Chrome or Firefox. It should run with the properties like headless or with the headed mode, with any arguments. So you, we need to test these things. Okay, now what we need to do is that for this particular tutorial, I will be using the example of the Orange RM. So, this is a website, this is a demo website here. And now, simply go to the postman, and in the postman, we will first connect the server and then test this server. You simply go to the postman here, and here, uh, what you need to do is that simply click on new, and here you see that we have an MCP option. And when I hover on this one, you see that the model context protocol is an open standard that enables developers to build secure two-way connection between their data sources and AI-powered tools, right? Now simply click on this one and stdr is to type over here and we need to provide enter a command or paste the JSON config. So simply what we need to do is that we need to go to the browser again and go here. And the scroll up here, and so this is how we can copy from here and go back to the postman. Provide this one over here, and simply click on connect. So now it will asking that either we gotta grant the permission for this request only, or for the all requests in the workspace. Let's go with the this particular request only. So grant access. And it's connecting uh, to the server. And once it's successfully connected with that server, so you will see the connected over here. Okay. And here is basically a response. Then we have message options, we have environment options, setting options, notifications. 
So if I go to the message here, so basically we have tools, we have prompts, we have resources. So tools are basically the ones we just right now see on the official documentation. Okay. And if you want to test across a different, you know, environments, so we have a key and the value to your tests, those are case, uh, different environments. Now we have settings. So for example, right now, the setting provided is the timeout. Okay, request timeout. Right now, it's uh, 10,000 milliseconds, which is basically 10 seconds over here. Right? And in notifications, we haven't seen any notifications so far. So if I go to the message again over here, so we have this start underscore browser tool. So let me go back here and this is called out. Now, so basically, if we talk about this particular tool, it's the start underscore browser. So it should launch a browser session and it takes a parameter like browser, okay, then options, then properties. So let's see, either we have these things available. So we need to ensure that, okay, so we need to verify these things, okay. So simply go back here and click on this one and here you see that this browser is mandatory and it has two options Chrome and firefox and on the right side you see a json okay as soon as i select something you will see a difference over here okay and chrome and then again you want to open that into a headless mode or the headed mode so headless means that it will not open the browser itself actually so it's, it's a headless mode right but if i say true you won't see any browser opening over here but if i select false so it added the options over here and say false so false means that it's not a headless execution it will open the browser in actual then we need to provide the arguments okay and you see that we have verified that this is a mandatory we should have two browsers chrome and firefox we have options we have arguments and you see that options and arguments are not mandatory so this is a requirement okay and you go here so you see that these options these properties their arguments these are not mandatory okay it's totally based on your execution how you want to execute but as we are testing the mcp server we need to ensure that this requirement should be fulfilled okay and now let's test this one we have already verified that this is a required field and it has two options crew and firefox test case one passed now go to the test case two we need to execute that and ensure that it should launches a browser session and now if i go back to the postman and simply my settings is chrome and headless is false and just click on run so before I click on run you see that all the parameters which i have provided over here chrome headless false so all are being added over here so simply click on run it should open a browser so browser which is cool is open now you see and here we we'll go back here so we see that tools and the calls and the connected right and here we are getting a json we have we have a preview so in the preview we are seeing that the browser started with the session id this and this is a json so again this is a response right so in the response we are getting this information and again, so far we don't have any notifications here. Now uh, we want to ensure that we can open the Firefox here as well, right? So simply I go here, select the Firefox. Here you see that the browser is Firefox now. Just click on Run, and it should open the Firefox here, right? You see that Firefox has been opened. Okay. So let me close this one and let me close this Chrome browser again. And let's go with the Chrome here and again let's run. So this means that the requirement is working fine. So MCP server tool which should start the browser is working as expected. Now let's go to the other tools. The first tool is that we have to navigate to the URL. Now we need to provide a string. Add a string is basically a mandatory URL. Here you see that URL is mandatory. And if I go here, and go here navigate so you see that the url is mandatory so test case is passed 
Th that field is mandatory. We need to provide the URL over here. So now I need to, you know, test this navigate over here. Now if I copy this one, the URL from here, and go back here, and it needs a string value. I just need to provide this one, and you see that in the other ones we have a URL, and in double quotes we said this is a string, right? So the requirement is you know implemented correctly. So test case again pass. So we'll run this one, and again we have this response over here, and it says that navigated to this particular website. Now let's actually go to the browser and see if it's actually navigated to this particular website or not. So you see that it's navigated to this particular website. Now let's test this one because if I go to the browser over here and if I paste the URL and if I remove this HTTPS basically, just go with the HTTP. Let's see what happens over here. So it actually opens the website over here. And if I copy this one, so basically it redirected the user to the HTTPS. Now, same thing should happen with the MCP server over here, right? So if I go here and remove this S from here and run this one, so you see that it should be navigated to this one and actually it redirected to this particular website. This means that this navigate to is working fine. So that's how you can create the scenarios and the test cases. Okay, now let's move forward and go here. And as automation tester, what we need to do is that we need to provide the username and password and need to verify the fields. So we have the same keys over here. So here, you, you see said, uh, this buy is mandatory, right? And we need to provide the strategy for the locating the element. And for example, you see that by ID, by CSS, XPath, name tag, class, we have all options available over here. So as a tester, what I'll do is that I need to ensure that all these locator strategies are working fine. So what I'll do is that simply uh, go to the browser over here and let's inspect this one. And we have this name over here. So copy the name, username from here and go back here, select the locating strategy. So I'm selecting a locator over here as a name and providing a value, so value was username, right? And this is a send key, so send keys means that we want to type something in the field, right? So what we need to type, and again, this is a mandatory, right? So I want to type admin, okay? And let's go back here and provide this one, and there's no more, Fields options, just simply run this one, and you see that it's we got a response that admin text is entered into the element. And if I open this one, you see that admin text is inserted in this particular field. Similarly, uh, let's uh, go for other fields and let's use some other. Now, you want to verify that this particular password field should be located with the XPath. Okay, so this is a relative XPath. Uh, let me copy this one from here and go back here. And now I need to provide send keys. So I need to go with the XPath and provide the XPath value and the string. What I want to use or type basically is admin123. So let me copy this one and go back to the postman here and here we need to provide this value and just run this one and it says that text admin123 entered into the element and if I go here you see that it successfully identified the field and entered the value. Now we need to click on this login button and let's go with some other locator over here okay and and here we don't need to uh, send the keys. We need to click on this button, okay? So simply go here and click on this one. Let's go with the CSS selector, copy this one, go back to the postman, 
and here we should have a method called click element and here we are using CSS providing the value for the CSS and here we don't need to provide any other thing because we just need to locate the element on which we need to perform a click operation so simply clicking on this one so it says that element clicked and if I go back here you see that because we have already provided the username then we have provided the password we click on the button and that's why we are successfully logged in into the online HRM demo website okay so basically what we need to do is that we as per the requirement we need to test the mcp server so here we have a different tools which are mentioned on the website so we are just verifying based on the requirements for example here the requirement that you are in tree so we just verify that to come in spend tree we tried the different kind of urls with http with https it was working fine then we verify that for the send keys basically so we this buy is basically locating the strategy and this is required and we already saw that so we verified that okay this test case has been passed then we we saw that the locating strategy should be id class x path name tag and class so all these options are basically available in that drop down so we verified that and on top of that we also identified the element using different locators so basically i'm testing those tools based on the requirements so right now i'm assuming that this is the requirement and based on the requirement i'm creating my test cases executing those tools through the postman i've connected the server and you know sending the request and based on that i am testing the mcp server as per the requirement so that's how you can test any mcp server and again here this website is just where you can find the different mcp servers so just have a look on this website as well maybe something which might be helpful for you uh, in terms of jira or cinem or maybe any other tool okay so just go here and you can play around with the different mcp servers